In Cirrus version 4.5, we are excited to announce the addition of several key features that we hope will improve your experience with Cirrus. These features include left-handed sampling collection, setting a default crop, selecting all polygons in collection, removing photos on rescout, and adding crop protection and fertilizer recommendations to the fertility report. First, let's talk about left-handed sampling collection. Until now, Cirrus users were limited to only being able to sample right-handed. Under sampling settings, users can change the view to left-handed. This moves the drop point button to the left side. Next, let's talk about setting a default crop. This feature includes the ability to decide which planting application defines crop for scouting, tissue sampling, and harvest collection. When saving a planting application, Look for the toggle to set this activity as your default crop. Or under activity view options, assign as the default crop. For the next feature, let's talk about changing settings to select all polygons when entering into collection. Until now, Cirrus would pre-select a single polygon when entering into collection. Many of our users collect the same information across multiple polygons. When the setting is applied, Cirrus will select all polygons within collection. Next, let's talk about removing scouting photos on rescout. When you rescout a field week after week, you might not need to hang on to the photos that were used the previous week. Turning the setting on for removing scouting photos on rescout will allow you to keep the information that you filled in, but remove the photos. Last, but certainly not least, we have added crop protection and fertilizer recommendations to the fertility report. This report includes a fertility map, product information, covered area, and rates legend. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe to our channel for more content like this and visit our website for more information about Cirrus and the rest of our products.